Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in the previous video about uh, the semiconductor uh, physics, we discussed about the important concepts related to crystal structures. Okay. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the types of crystal structures which are there. Okay. So, in the previous video, we have already covered, here we will cover it in a, in a quick way, that in order to study a crystal structure, there are two important things that come into play. First one is the space lattice, next is the unit cell. So, a space lattice is just an imaginary, uh, okay, a space, in, uh, you can imagine it in two dimension or three dimension, which is uh, a group of points or a group of lines horizontal and vertical lines just like this which divide the whole space in 2d or vol volume in 3d into equal space areas or equal volumes okay and the points of intersection okay of these horizontal and vertical lines is called as the lattice points now these lattice points are filled with atoms or a group of atoms in a proper well defined geometrical manner that's what give ri gives rise to the crystal structure and the unit cell is the smallest structural or building block of the crystal structure okay so it is the basic building block now when this is repeated the unit cell is repeated in the three axis directions x y and z we get the crystal okay the entire crystal structure so here the highlighted regions they are the crystal uh, the unit cell structures these are in 2d now what are the basic unit cell structures which are there okay so this is in 3d we have already covered it but still it is in 2d this is in 3d <laughs> Another important thing we have already covered but still the way in which these lattice points are filled with the atoms, molecules or ions or group of them it is called as basis. So the space lattice combined with the basis gives us the crystal structure. Now the various types of units uh, cell structures which are there we will discuss the basic ones they are this. There are many types of crystal structures, but to keep it simple, I will be discussing three of them here and uh, then if the need arises, we will discuss other ones, but these are the three basic and simple crystal structures which are there in the crystalline solids and mostly we will come across these three crystal structures. These are the unit cell structures and when these structures are repeated, in three dimensions we will get the entire crystal structure. So these three crystal structures are simple cubic in short form SC, body centered cubic BCC or BCC, then is the face centered cubic FCC. Okay, they are called as simple cubic crystal lattice, body centered cubic crystal lattice or face centered cubic crystal lattice or you can just uh, see them as SC crystal, uh, crystal lattice, BCC crystal lattice, FCC crystal lattice. So if you uh, see those you just quickly you will figure out that this is face centered that body centered that is simple cubic. Okay, So let us uh, discuss them one by one. So first one is the simple cubic. So the unit cell okay the, this crystal structure contains atoms, molecules or ions at the eight corners of a cube. So just imagine a cube like this and these uh, points, okay, bold points at the eight corners, these are, they represent the atoms or molecules or ions or it can be a group of them as well. Okay, so these are the lattice points and at these lattice points, eight crystal uh, eight uh, atoms are present at the eight corners of the cube okay so this is the 
simple cube crystal lattice now it is the simplest of the crystal structures that we'll find okay the most simple form of crystal structure now the example of uh, the uh, substance which follows this crystal structure is polonium okay polonium has a simple cubic crystal structure okay so it is a simple cube at the eight corners of the cube we will have eight atoms or eight molecules or ions okay at the eight corners of the cube so these are the lattice points of the crystal so next one is the uh, body centered cubic crystal lattice okay so the body centered cubic crystal lattice can be uh, visualized as a simple cubic crystal okay a simple cubic crystal with eight lattice points at the eight corners of the cube each filled with atoms with an additional lattice point at the center of the cube okay so it is a simple cubic crystal same as the simple cubic crystal eight lattice points at the eight corners of the cube which are filled with atoms then it has an additional lattice point at the center of the cube okay that's why it is called as body centered cubic crystal lattice because at the center of this crystal body we have an additional lattice point and it is cubic addition to that we have a central lattice point at the uh, crystal center that's why it is called as body centered cubic crystal lattice okay next is the face centered cubic crystal lattice okay the face centered cubic crystal lattice is a uh, a cubic crystal lattice okay just imagine a cubic crystal lattice like this okay now there is a lattice point at the center of each of the six faces of the cube okay just imagine this simple cubic crystal lattice same as that eight corners of the cube eight lattice points which are filled with atoms then at the center of each of the six faces of this cube we have extra lattice points okay here at the center of this cube this one this point at the center of this cube at the top face this lattice point at this right side face this lattice point at this left side face we have this lattice point bottom this lattice point so the six faces have six central uh, lattice point at the center of the faces and also at the eight corners of the the simple cube we have eight lattice points okay and each of these lattice points are filled with atoms so this is the uh, the uh, the face centered cubic now why it is face centered because at the center of each of the six faces we have lattice points and remaining is same as that of the cubic crystal structure that's why it is called as face centered in the body centered similar to the cubic crystal lattice but at the center of this crystal we have a crystal lattice so we can call it as a body center at the center of this body this cubic body we have an extra lattice point that's why it is called as body centered cubic and that's why this is called as face centered cubic because at the center of each of the six faces we have extra lattice points remaining is same as that of the simple cubic crystal okay so these are the three types of crystal structures okay so these are the unit cell structures now the unit cell when repeated in three dimension gives us the entire crystal structure so you can think that when the simple cubic crystal structure will be repeated in three dimensions we will get the entire crystal structure with this is the smallest structural unit it means this similar structure will be stacked above it below it at the left right and the three axis directions x y and z which will lead us to the entire crystal structure similarly when this uh, a crystal with body centered 
cubic crystal lattice will have the smallest uh, structural unit looking like this. Then this structure will be repeated in three dimensions to give us the entire crystal structure. Similarly, the face centered cubic crystal will be this as the smallest structural unit and this will be repeated in the three axis directions, stacked in the three directions repeated which will give us the crystal structure. Okay. Now, addition to that, there are other crystal structures too, but they are a little bit complex and complicated. That's why I did not include it, it in it in this video. We'll, maybe we'll discuss it in a separate video, but these are the simple and basic things that will come across in our study of the semiconductors, Okay, the physics of semiconductors. So, here we have discussed about the three types of crystal structures. Okay, so I hope you like this video and uh, please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much